so this is my homemade gooseneck for Australia food. Uh, this this will be glued in. Um, it's 3D print. I hope it will hold up. It's printed on my new Bamboo Lab printer in the background in uh, PET with uh, carbon fiber. And <clears throat> on the mast, I, I made a so th this this part here will be replaced by this that mounted in the sail groove. Sorry for being a little slacker, not putting videos out, but the weather has been really bad and I've been traveling several weeks this fall uh, for work and uh, so it's been a little this is one of the um, two um, winch systems that I'm looking at for Australia too. Uh, it's got a almost 50, it's got a 50 centimeter travel, um, and it's a King Max 28 kilogram winch. Um, I think it will actually be pull almost 38 kilos on one centimeter half or a little bit less than half an inch if you feed it 8.4 volts so i can demonstrate how this works so you have the rudder servo this is pretty much the same system as i, I have used on the mini rivals i think it will hold up it does have this this piece that is installed permanently in the boat. It's hard to. So this piece goes in the boat with four screws, and then these holes here are for uh, locking screws. So this this um, whole unit, this whole unit slides into this holder, and of course points the other direction. It's gonna face forward in the boat and if I take my little radio master pocket and I will so this way I, I achieve 50 cent 50 centimeter travel radio mass or uh, King Max was nice enough to make this an eighth revolution uh, winch for me i still paid for it but I, they they did do a little custom there for me so that was cool and on the other side you have room for your for your uh, receiver and this is paint this is printed in uh, p uh, pla with carbon fiber uh, so it, it feels really strong and another good thing with the um, with the carbon field is that it seems to be hold. I got some good news. Just a half an hour ago I got, got an invite to come to New York and sail on America 2 boats, the 12 meters. So US 42 and 46 that they have there and I, I'm in awe. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I'm a little guy in, in Sweden building mole boats and getting this invite is is really really cool i already have an invite from australia to sail on kookaburra one which is really cool and i hope to to be able to do that too but so welcome to the hobby room uh, i did do some work on the uh, australia 2 rig today uh, 3d printed these um, spreaders and uh, they have a carbon fiber tube inside for stability so they, they turned out pretty good not finished with the paint but it, the weather outside was terrible so I I couldn't finish it up today but um, I will uh, glue the gooseneck later tonight and uh, I fitted the, uh, the the spreader wires so 
uh, got quite a lot done today so hopefully in the next video you will see the boat with a mast up sorry this has taken a lot longer than i anticipated and there has not been a video for a very long time you, you can see the mast foot here 3d printed mast foot the shroud plates but uh, i've been working on some parts for my, it's not a big boat, but the boat I can sit inside. I've been uh, busy doing that with varnishing and stuff, so that's why it's taken some time to get back to Australia too. But uh, soon we will have a week and a half off over Christmas, so I hope to do some more work on Australia. Thank you very much for liking and subscribing, and, and uh, bear with me, even though uh, there's sometimes takes quite a lot of time between between uh, videos thank you thank you very much bye and merry christmas everyone merry christmas bye.